It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Racing takes place this Wednesday, the 24th of July at Hollywood Bets Scottsville. Uh, up in the capital, Peter Maritzburg, there are eight races. The first race, 12.30. The last race, 16.35. I'm previewing this race meeting with my good friend and colleague, Dees Dianant. I'll also be presenting and uh, hosting the race meeting on Wednesday in the capital with my good friend and colleague, Dees Dianant. So we look forward to, we can call it the quick double, you and me. Long, long since we've worked together, over, long overdue, I don't know, I think the first time this month maybe, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to visiting uh, the capital, as uh, Warren mentioned, in San Duzi, my That's hometown. Right. Yeah, your hometown indeed. But the first race is uh, at 12.30. It's a, it's a maiden plate for fillies over 1,200 metres. Uh, at the early time of recording, there is a scratching number two dressed to the nines. Uh, we tell you time and time again, and we're going to continue telling you that we record way in advance. So please check uh, scratchings, jockey changes, etc. And if we're talking on a race day when they're playing the show out on a scratched horse, you know why. It's well, it was recorded well in time. But number two, dressed to the nines, is scratched. These, uh, it looks very, um, uh, I won't say obvious, but it looks to be that number five, Saudi Sweep, is the one to beat. But in saying that, number eight, Ayui Ayui is finding a bit of betting support and has, has run two very good races thus far. I'm in the camp of a Saudi Sweep and Ayui Ayui to fight it out. I do have a healthy respect for number 13, Lady Slipper. She could be absolutely anything. I really have to say, my Warren, uh, no different to you. Uh, numbers five and eight. The one thing that's clearly noticeable is that both these fillies are going over 1,200 meters uh, for the first time. Uh, where the scope for further improvement to come from these two horses, uh, you know, it's all about uh, the Gauteng form lines uh, versus the KZN form line. But I like the fact that are we. Ayui Yui, God Puller's runner, has had the one run at the course behind a fair sort in dark winter from the Justin Snade stable. And I think that could be the exact play to get things off. Uh, but this also Lady Slipper, you know, the fact that the stable have persevered with her uh, throughout. I say this because she actually debuted as a four-year-old and although she's been off for seven months I don't know what was happening in the interim uh, from her run on the 31st of December 2023 to now but if fitness is an issue then she's one to keep an eye on if it's not then she could be the joker of the pack. Okay and just very quickly others to, to, to include in your play number six say it out loud a 1.3 million rand daughter of give me the green light related to Good traveller, uh, keep an eye on the betting market as race time uh, gets closer. Flying Rainstorm certainly has a place, Charles, and French Duchess. Um, uh, well, the French Duchess and Ayui Yui ran in that Celtic Chief race, and uh, there's a bit of a form line between those two. But Dees and I are in the camp of Saudi Sweep, Ayui Yui, to fight it out. And uh, if Lady Slipper is not in too much need of it, she could too be very competitive. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.